Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. We did this about a year ago. I've got a video halfway down the page. When it gets into view, it's going to start to order play. When it goes up out of view, it's going to stop. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but the audio stops, so I know the video stopped. When we roll back down, it's going to start playing again. If we roll it back down the other way, it's going to stop. Really easy to do. I've written a bit of JavaScript to do this today. Let's just pause that video. Don't let that put you off. I've done it all for you and it's a simple copy and paste. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Okay, let's just undo what I've got going on here. I'm going to go to the back end to do this. I roll down to where the video is. I'm going to delete my little code module. And I'm going to delete the video itself. We can flip back to front end mode now. And if I go down, there's my little section. The video has gone and the little code module that I had is gone also. Great. So the first thing I'm going to do is select a video. I'm going to add a new module. I'm going to grab a video module, funnily enough. It comes with the default Divi one in there. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to add my own. This will also work for Vimeo video as well. I'm going to insert from a URL. I've got the video URL from YouTube and the video I want. I'm just going to paste it in there. As you can see, it's popped up with that video. And there it is right there. And that'll just act like a normal video. It'll just be static like that. And when you click on it, it'll play on the front end. As you saw earlier, what I want to happen is when it comes into view, I want it to start auto playing automatically, or I should say I want it to start playing automatically. So let's just save that. Now it comes to the bit of coding. I'm going to add a little code module. It doesn't matter too much where you put it because it doesn't take up much real estate. I'm going to put it under my little blurb module that I've got here. I'm going to roll on down. There's a little code module right there. Now I've created this code and I'll put this link down below. And this is exactly what you'll see when you go to this link. It's just a PDF. And I've got some script here. You need to copy it from the opening script tag to the closing script tag. Make sure you get everything there. Control C to copy. We'll go back to our page. Control V, paste. And we've pasted it in here. Now we've got various things going on. I've got one function telling it to play when it gets into view or viewport, basically. And I've got another function telling it to stop. Now, I'm sure you're not too interested in that unless you're a JavaScripter. But the important thing right here is I've got a, an ID. You see it with the hashtag there. It's YTV1. It's kind of my shorthand for YouTube Video 1. You can change that to anything you want. Make sure you've got the hashtag there. And make sure you don't lop off the inverted commas there. You can leave it exactly the same. It'll work for you. Just in case you wanted to change it to something that was more pertinent to you, you can do. So that's really the only bit you want to know about here. And I'm going to grab that without the hashtag when we write it in the code as it's a CSS ID. And I'll show you where to put that in a moment. You need a hashtag. When you apply it to a module, you do not need the hashtag. So it's YTV1. Great. Let's just save our changes here. And all we need now to make this actually work is to go into our video module right here. Now remember I said that was a CSS ID. If we go over to advanced CSS IDs and classes, make sure you paste it in the CSS ID and not the class there. And it's YTV1. And that's what I was saying about the hashtag. When we write the actual code, it has a hashtag in front of it. When you apply the CSS ID, you do not need that hashtag. If you wanted to link to this CSI ID from a button, you'd need to add a hashtag on the button link. Great. 
Well, let's just save this and we should be pretty much good to go. Let's save our changes down here and we'll exit the Visual Builder. When I roll then, you should see that video come into view. And you'll notice it's starting to auto play. Perfect. If I wait till the voice starts, if we roll it back down again, the auto's gonna, the audio is going to stop, which means the video is actually stopped. If we roll it back up, it'll start again from scratch. Same as if we roll it up the top there. And again, if we roll it back down, it'll start back up again. And that's a really nice little feature. Auto play videos are great, but you don't want them to be playing all the time because they take up your server resources. Plus, it can get on people's nerves a bit if it's out of sight and it's playing. They don't know where that audio is coming from. And if you want to duplicate this with another video on another page, it couldn't be easier. Let's just enable the Visual Builder again. And we'll roll down to where that video was here. Now you can just save the code module if you want. I'm just going to save this whole row with that bit of blurb and the video and a code module. And we'll switch out the video and have a different one play on a different page. So to do that, I'm going to save this row to my library. Little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. Call it what you want. And we'll save it to the library. We can exit the Visual Builder now. I made no changes there. Let's go to a different page. Let's perhaps go to the gallery page. I'll re-enable the Visual Builder. I'm going to roll down. Let's just pop it below this gallery. I'll add a new little section. I'll make it a regular section. When it asks me for the row, I'm going to say add from library. There's the auto video. I'm going to hit use this row. Now we know we've got the code in there. Let's switch out this video. We go into this module. We'll get rid of that video and we'll add a new one. I'll hit that add video. I'm going to insert from the URL again. I've got a new YouTube video link up there. I'm going to go ahead and insert that one into the post. We'll save our changes now. We don't need to change any of the code. We've already got the ID on there and everything. And because we've got a code module, it will apply to this page. Save all the changes. Let's save the page changes. And we'll exit the Visual Builder. Now when we roll on down past that gallery, there's our little video. As you can see, it's starting to autoplay. And of course it'll do all the same things. It'll stop when you roll it off the screen up here. It'll restart. Let me get it back on the screen. And of course, you know what it's going to do when you pull it off the screen down below. So there you go, guys. That's a great little feature. Like I say, people have been struggling with this for some reason. I've rewritten this code and I've put it in this PDF. So there's no trouble with copying and pasting. Let's just stop that video a moment. And really, the only thing that you need to worry about is the actual ID up there, hashtag YTV1. And like I say, you can change that to anything you want or leave it as it is. It'll work perfectly. This URL, as I mentioned earlier, you will find down below the video. Just click on it. This is what you'll see. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Or we'll make a little demo video like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hi guys, well, 